Hi guys, my name is Ritu Sachdev. Today here in this tutorial, I am gonna show you how you can create models in Bootstrap. They are amazing and responsive also. They are lightweight JavaScript pop-ups which may contain some alert pop-ups or some images or some videos. They are totally customizable. Before going into action, I want you to show the preview for document which we are going to create in this tutorial. See here, I have a nice blue button. When I will click on this button, that will open a new dialog box window for me. Here we have syllabus for bootstrap 3.2.0. When I will click on it, here we go. I have a new dialog box. This is what called as model in bootstrap. Now this model is divided in three parts, model header, model body and model footer. In the header, I have heading. In the body, I have some content. And in the footer, I have a close button. When I will click on this button, that will close this model. So the uses of creating model is limited to your creativity. You can have button or some link. When you will click on it, that will open contact form or some image or anything. So let's get started. Here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamware CC and the document on which we are going to work. I have linked up all the necessary files for the bootstrap as CDN. This is latest compiled and minified CSS. This is optional theme and on the line number 18 this is latest compiled and minified JavaScript. All this you can get from the official website getbootstrap.com. And on the line number 16, I am having latest compiled and minified jQuery file, which you can easily get from jQuery.com. I am having both of the JavaScript file before closing this body tag instead of having them in head section so that it may help the page to render fast. Now, in the body section, let's have a diff with a class of container, a pre-inbuilt class in bootstrap. Let's close this div container. Now inside container, I want to have some line breaks. As I don't want my everything to be so tight to the top or left. So just to have some breathing space, I'm having this line breaks. Now let's create a button using anchor tag. So let me have an anchor tag. Give it a class btn btn dash primary. This primary is going to give us blue color button. Let me close this anchor tag. The text on the button I want to have is syllabus for bootstrap 3.2.0 now to this anchor tag let's have a data attribute data dash toggle is equal to model Let's give another attribute data dash target is equal to hash my model. So that will be the ID for our model. Now you can have different ID if you want but you can't choose the classes which we are going to use. Let's save up this much. Now let's preview. Okay, so now we have a nice blue button. When I will click, nothing happens. As still we have to go very far.
Now let's add a div with the class of model and another class fed. Let's give it an ID my model as we have already given it ID here we have hash my model so the ID should be the same we are targeting now tab index is equal to minus 1. So if the user is trying to navigate it with the tab key it won't happen. Now role is equal to dialog as, it, as it's a dialog box. Now area dash hidden is equals to true. Let's close this diff. Let me give little indent. Now let's have another diff with a class of model dash dialog let's close this div now inside this model dialog we will be having div with a class of model dash content now inside this model content we will be having three things model header body of the model and the footer for the model so first let me have a div with the class of model header model dash header so this will be the heading for our model let me close this div. Now inside this model header in the h2 tags I want the heading to be syllabus for bootstrap 3.2.0 Now after this model header we will be having model body. So let's have a div with a class of model dash body. Let's close this model dash body. Inside model dash body we will be having our main content for the model. So to be very quick, let me copy and paste up something. Here we go. After having this model body, let's have our footer for model. diff with the class of model dash footer let's close this diff now inside footer we will be having a button so let me have a button type is equal to button again let's give it a class 
btn btn dash primary to have a blue color button now data dash dismiss as we want our model to be closed if anybody hits on that button so data dash dismiss is equal to model let's close this button tag now and the text i want to have is on button is close let's save it up now let's refresh our page now when i will click on this button that will open a model this is header for our model this is body of the model and this is footer and this footer is having a button when i will click on this button close that will close the model window and one more thing guys this model is a responsive also is the main utility of bootstrap is responsive no matter whatever is the size of device your model is going to behave responsive so this is done friends and if you like this video of mine do thumbs it up do not forget to subscribe me and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me have a good day bye bye